So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue the LED with the wires into the hole that we drilled in the front of the uh, in the front of the truck. I've already done this one, so I'll show you how we do this one. I want to put this in here as straight as possible, and also I want to hold it. like that you gotta hold it as best as you can and then I'm gonna take a just a drop of my super jet and drop it in here which will hold the LED in place now what I do is I like to use accelerator so what I did was I took a piece of wire and I made a little loop on the end of the wire and then I'll just drop this wire with the loop into my accelerator and the loop holds just enough of the accelerator just to give me the accelerator on the end of, you know, at, at the glue. You can either do that or you can use the little sprayer that comes with it but that makes puts accelerator all over the place and I'm not crazy about having that accelerator all over the place so I I made that little loop and I think that works out pretty well so once that's done what we're going to do next is we're going to take the this this unit and we're going to epoxy everything all around the LED all right so I mix this together really well now I'm going to take this toothpick and I'm going to really cover this around here. Now this is going to do two different things. First, obviously it's going to hold the LEDs in place. But it's also going to give me something that I can paint. Now I'm going to paint this later with black paint. Okay, the uh, epoxy has been is set now, and what I did was, after the epoxy got all set, I painted the epoxy with some black gloss paint. Now, the reason I do that is uh, because any of the uh, LED that may be sticking out in, underneath the cab may show some light, and I don't want any light coming down underneath my, t underneath my wheels. So if I paint that with some black paint, like I did here, that'll stop probably 95% of any ambient light that gets out through the back of the LED. Okay, so now what I'm also going to go ahead and do is uh, uh, put the other headlight in. Uh, I obviously took that little pin off the back here. There used to be a pin that would stuck out here. Oops. And that's what went through the original hole here on the front of the cab. So I cut that off with my a pair of cutters, and then I trimmed it with an X-Acto uh, knife. And now I'm going to place that in there, just get that in there just enough to hold. So it just covers that hole here. Take my super jet. And just catch the corner. And catch the corner in the back here. Alright. Now I'll... Capillary action is going to pull all that super jet in and just fill in enough that it'll hold the headlight lens on. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the body of the truck. There it is. Now what I did first also before I started, when I took the original screw out, I put that screw back. I have a terrible habit of losing things like this. So I put that screw back in there. That way, I didn't lose the screw. All right, now what we're going to do is put the cab back on. I'm going to run the wires up over top of the wheels like that. Drop that cab back in there. Make sure I've got my wires run down right. Put the screw back in.
I'm going to strip my wires back just a little bit. Now I've, uh, a number of years ago, I had an old computer, a really old computer, and when it went bad, I saved the power supply out of it. The power supply in a computer is regulated 12 volts and 5 volts, and that's used in a lot of electronic stuff. So I have my uh, 12 volt wires here, I got my computer, my supply on. Let's see if this thing's going to work. Red to red, that's positive. Black to black is negative. And there you are. Headlights in a truck. Now when I take this back up to the choo-choo barn, I'll drill two holes, one, be one behind each one of these wheels, drop my wires down through there, and then I'll be able to hook everything up from underneath. Now if I get really inventive, if I really want to get really cool, I can always drill these out and put little red light LEDs in the back for stop lights or you know, tail lights, have one of them flashing for a turn signal. You can do all kinds of sorts of all kinds of things with uh, with LEDs. LEDs are fantastic. They're not going to get hot and they look great at nighttime.